if I'm going to try to pick up a boy, how's my British accent? That's awful. That's really, really bad. <laughs> Will I get laid with that accent? No. 24 hour gay over with Rally Round the World. Today I'm coming to you from London. London! And I'm in Shoreditch. And we're walking through a. Oh, a park <laughs> and there's a puppy and I can't wait to explore London town. If you want a boutique, modern and chic hotel, stay at Mama Shelter in East London, which also happens to have an incredible restaurant attached with an ambiance that exudes extra. Now it's time to learn what lights people up living in London. <laughs> what gives you the most life and energy living here in London? Uh, there's always something to do, so London's never boring. The vast variety of culture that's in London. It's full of creatives. You oh never know what you're gonna fucking get, okay? <laughs> London is very energetic. It's the diversity um, and the people. It's just constant 24 seven, but at the same time in London you can like, have a little breathe and then like, you know, you're around people who just want to create and live and are really high on life. Like no matter what, it can be like 6 a.m., 5 p.m., midnight. Now it's time to see this city. There's so much heritage that you walk down these streets, the streets of Soho, and you can kind of feel the echoes, the shadows, the ghosts, the reverberations of the queer ancestors that went before us. It's kind of amazing that we're doing the same steps, the same bars, the same clubs as people in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. It's incredible. The sheer um, diversity and, and volume of queer people who are here, um, I think there's just someone for everyone. There's, there's a part of the community to meet everybody's needs. Hi. Welcome to the Curtain Green Room Tea Time. First, we let the tea simmer for about four minutes, then we bring Sweetie Pour into the room. And then, with Pinkies Up, with my Queen Retreat. <laughs> After obligatory tea time, let's tear up the queer nightlife. The Gaberhood in London is in Soho. Start your night at Admiral Duncan with ferocious drag shows and a theater crowd. Hit up the village to meet some locals and do karaoke. Friendly Society offers a swanky lounge and is a hot date spot. End the night at the Massive Club G-A-Y with affordable drinks and eye candy galore. After that night, I need just the tip. And just the tip, if you can give our viewers one tip. Oh. If you are visiting London, what's your tip? My tip would be make sure you have afternoon tea. Because you have to! Go to Soho and pick up QX magazine. Yeah, that's all right. Because it will tell you everything you need to know for that week. Then go to Friendly Society in Soho and then go to GAY. Why not? Good times! <laughs> If I could live anywhere in the world, I think it might be London. Um, you know, I've been here before. Everyone knows London. Everyone knows London is gay friendly. What I do have to say is that East London was really vibrant. The thrift shops here were amazing. Tea was awesome. Shortage, walking around. My favorite way to see a city is really to walk it. And uh, we walked a, a ton here. Expand yourself. Don't just come to London and stay in Soho. 24 hours really is not enough time to see this city. But that just means I have to come back and do like 525,600 24-hour gay overs again. London, you got my heart. I love you. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment below and I'll see you on my next adventure. 24 hour gay over with Rally Round the World. Just setting up the shot here. Thank <laughs> you.